Next to the new questions around the investigation into the death of Jeffrey Epstein, the accused sex trafficker stunning the world, taking his own life in a Manhattan jail cell. The official autopsy results just announced by the medical examiner and what his legal team is vowing tonight. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, Jeffrey Epstein's attorneys questioning whether his death was a suicide, saying they are not satisfied with the ruling. They claim it is indisputable that the authorities violated their own protocols and that they plan to conduct their own investigation and will even pursue, quote, legal action to view the pivotal videos, if they exist as they should, of the area proximate to Mr. Epstein's cell. Sources tell ABC News that Epstein, who was awaiting trial on federal sex trafficking charges, hanged himself with a bedsheet, his accusers vowing to get justice. While I am angry that Mr. Epstein's death means he will never personal, personally answer to me in the court of law, my resolve to pursue justice is only strengthened. Tonight, new details emerging about his final days in prison. According to the New York Times, Epstein tried to protect himself from other inmates by transferring money into their commissary accounts. He reportedly paid his lawyers to visit the jail for as many as 12 hours a day, giving him the right to see them in a private meeting room. The Times also reporting he seldom bathed. His hair and beard were unkept. These details coming out as the investigation into Epstein's allegations intensify, with authorities searching his properties in the Caribbean and New Mexico, looking for evidence that others may have conspired with him. Jeffrey Epstein and his network of enablers stole from me. And Stephanie Ramos joining us live. And Stephanie, there have also been more cases filed in court with those accusers attempting to go after potential co-conspirators. That's exactly right, Whit. Two more women are suing Epstein's estate. They say they were recruited by an unnamed Epstein employee. Now, this is in addition to the lawsuit filed against Epstein's longtime friend, Gilan Maxwell, who is also accused of recruiting for him. Maxwell denies any wrongdoing. That legal maneuvering continues. Stephanie, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.